post my one month test run so you can see how dark the wood still is compared to that. And that's after a month. So that was my one month test. So I bought a 1865 year old manor and it still had great hardwood floors on it. But I didn't want to sand them because I heard that sanding older hardwood floors can make them brittle and really thin, but I wanted to save them. So I did a test run on this concoction that cost me less than $10. So you can have your hardwood floors if you don't want to, you know, sand them because it's an old Victorian home, then you can have your floors go from this to this just by using these ingredients right here vegetable oil and 100% pure essential oil and I have a little Rubbermaid container and I got this paintbrush from Dollar Tree so um, that's how I did it you just paint it on and then when you're done take a um, napkin and go right over it and dry it off. And this is how I mix the concoction. I pour some vegetable oil in my container, about that much, and a little bit goes a long way. And then I take my essential oil and I just shake it and put a whole bunch in. And you can only, you can use only one, but I like the smell of peppermint and cinnamon together. So, and I like it to smell really good, so I put a lot of oil in it. And then you just take your paintbrush and you just swirl it around. Kind of get some of the excess off. And then you just start brushing it on. And I usually go, well, maybe three or four planks at a time, just so I can, I mean, you'll tell where you start and left off, but these floors are really dry, so it's easy for me to tell. But, um, yeah, we almost went from ripping all the floors up to putting down new floors, but I'm the type that likes to save as much as I can when it comes to restoring homes. So this actually happened as a happy accident. Um, my husband spilt some um, french fries on the floor and the oil from the fries um, made what looked like a kind of a stain on the floor, like a, like a wood stain. So. Um, we were like, well, this is a happy accident. I'm going to try, I'm going to brush some vegetable oil on and um, see how that looks. So I did a one month test run and that one month floor still looked perfect, beautiful, like this color, didn't fade or anything. Um, these floors are really, really dry. So I'm going to do another coat in about a week and then I'm probably just going to do another coat every every six months maybe but um you need to put essential oil in the vegetable oil because if you don't your house will smell like a deep fryer <laughs> so that's why i came up with the idea of putting the essential oils in with the vegetable oil because it just makes your house smell amazing but that's how I did it and if you look at my YouTube channel you'll see more restorations that I'm doing with the house I bought my house from the um, cheap old houses on Instagram I saw this house on there and ended up selling my home in Dallas and moving to Jonesville Virginia to live out my dream of restoring a Victorian mansion thanks for listening bye I also wanted to add that no, your floors will not be slippery. Um, I did these floors, you could tell, um, I did these floors just a couple days ago in the dining room and I stopped right here 
and I'm gonna get this when I'm, you know, as I'm doing these. But um, the floors turned out really good. I mean, they went from, you know, that <laughs> to this. And this is my dining room. You can see how lovely the floors look. And it's all ready for Christmas. And then I'm starting on the sunroom. I just started here and I gotta work my way all the way here, but this is how the floors look. This is how the, uh, how the other side of the sunroom looks, the floors here. So it's gonna soak up some oil there, which is good because these floors really need it. But um, when, you, when there's like oil, you'll notice that when you do some of the floors, it's gonna look like wet. What I did is I, I got one of these um, shark back mops and um, put the pad on the bottom and just went over it to soak up the, the oil and and um, my floors aren't slippery at all so but this is how I get the standing oil spots off sun's coming through, so some of it looks like a different color, but the sun's coming through my door. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's so exciting because I'm the type who doesn't like to spend a lot of money, and if these floors need to be replaced in a few years, I'd just rather just oil them up for now, because it's, it look, it'll look great when, you know, as a temporary measure, or you just want to keep your floors like this, I mean, it's their choice, but, yeah. I love it. It's so pretty. And I still gotta, I gotta move this table and then finish on the other floors. But that's the story of my floors. And if you watch my YouTube channel, you will um, see some restorations of the house. We just put this new French door in. We're gonna paint it white. And I've decorated this for Christmas. Have my little bear village up there. So yeah, this is, So, yeah, if you subscribe, you'll get more updates on how we're restoring the home. There's my little kitty. I'm backed up so you can see his staircase. But this is my 1865 mansion. Thanks for watching.